Yo, back same cut me, uh, same water as I should say. With another animated one, same. It's they say twenty two true horror animated stories. I said it backwards, but twenty two true horror stories animated. That's what the title is. Uh, it's by I can say my guy now. I watched one of them. I like it. It's my guy. Uh. MJV animations. Uh and I said last video I wasn't gonna like it because I wasn't show. Now I like it and you gotta like. You 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 earned a subscriber. You I subscribed before I before I even watched it, but I some told me that you was gonna you was gonna do what you was do what you did. You feel me? Uh it's the same video. It's 22 of them. I might watch all of them just on a span. Not today, for sure. Now I'm tired. Like I said at the end of the last one, a lot of y'all didn't catch it. But that's your fault. I ain't gonna say anything. But I was hooping for about two and a half, three hours outside with the guys. Y'all get active. I'm challenging y'all to go get active. Y'all can pause this, get active, come back in an hour, an hour and a half, th even thirty minutes. Come back in thirty minutes. Take your shower because you gotta, you gotta take a shower. That's mandatory. Uh, and chill. Turn it back on. You gonna feel so much better. I promise. It's certified approved. Um, but as I was saying, this is the continuance of the first one. I'm going to just keep keep going with this one. I like it. So, well, no, it's 22 of them. Why would I let 22 videos otherwise, you know? 22 to everyone. Let me get it up for y'all. Hope y'all been doing good. Thinking positive. Sound like somebody just yelled outside. I don't know. It's 10 o'clock. I don't know who outside yelling. I'm going to stay in here and record these videos. Uh, but uh, let's get into it we were cool. let's get into it it's been about four years ago and i was 20 at the time 20 the first time I why met does he guy. look like that off the rib my, my, my guy we become my grocery store stalker he was standing outside the store collecting money for the salvation army christmas time donations i'm a fairly look friendly person so i like to say hi to people who work at places i frequent to be nice what this guy was mean? around my age very tall with a very mild resemblance to lurch from the adams family Dark circles under dark eyes, short black hair, and kind of a vacant look in his eyes. I chatted with him for maybe two minutes, just idle chit-chat about the weather and whatnot. Nothing particularly memorable or interesting. And then waved goodbye and I went home. But little did I know, that single moment would be the start of something That's that would have me genuinely afraid. About four or five months passed by and I hadn't seen him again. But one day, as I was grocery shopping with a friend, when, as we were chatting, she suddenly gets really quiet and kind of recalled backwards, looking behind me. I turned around to see this guy, who had to be at least six foot four, towering over me, not even eight inches from my body. Not even eight inch? Eight inch? Man, back up! That's too close! He said hi and told me he remembered me from that December day. And then he asked me for my number. With me being so young and never having experienced this type of interaction before, I told him I didn't have my number memorized, but that I would. You didn't have your number memorized, bro. I ain't never. If somebody ever give me that example, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'ma just stop. What can you say to that? Cause your number is in your phone. Ain't nothing to look at your twenty. Don't memorize your number. I hope you memorize your number. I mean, you ain't got to memorize your number. Because if you something was to happen, you, you're going to call yourself. No, memorize the parents' number. Some people, later. some people don't even know their mama number. <laughs> that, he know what I'm talking about. I kind of half waved my phone at him, pointing out my at-the-time boyfriend, whose picture was my wallpaper. Okay. Making a point to say, oh, look, that's my boyfriend, to the guy, hoping he would get the clue. But no luck. He told me his number, which immediately upon getting, I blocked, without letting him she get my phone number. Either. He leaned in real close and said in a low voice, he told me, whatever I text you is for your eyes only. At this point, I started to feel genuinely uncomfortable. I said, yeah, sure, uh, nice talking to you, but we gotta get back to shopping. And I grabbed my friend and dragged her off, shooting a panicked look at her and asking why she didn't bail me out. Apparently he scared her too, with him getting so close to me. Who is she gonna say? She don't know that. She don't know that nigga. And she didn't know what to do. What? Is it so hard to say no? Maybe I will have to be in some situations. I don't want to. Please, no. 
Don't I'm not the one to do it to. Leave me, leave me alone, bro. I'll be minding my business. But is it hard to say no when you're in a situation like that? Can I get your number? No. Why? No. No is no. But I'm just trying to no. <laughs> you ain't gotta try no. I'm good. I'm good. You probably the best person on earth. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> no. Unless it's business opportunities and then uh, he don't stand over me like that. Business or not, back up. Greet me with a, a handshake or a, excuse me. It's one of those. I want to make it clear. I'm not exactly a small girl. At 5'8 and solidly built, I can certainly handle myself and I very rarely feel intimidated or small in the presence of anyone, male or female. But this guy made me feel very tiny and scared. Understand. In the months that would follow, he would make me feel truly really frightened. That I had hoped that creepy interaction would be the last time I saw him, but that was unfortunately not the case. After that initial meeting with him saying that creepy thing about the text being for my eyes only, it seemed like I would run into him every single time that I went to the store. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If she didn't ever give him his number... If she didn't ever give him her number, how was he going to text her some stuff for her eyes only? Who is he texting? He didn't receive nothing. She didn't text him. Am I, am I thinking too hard into it? Oh, I'm what checkout lane I was in, he always seemed to appear near the end of it when I was finished shopping. And every time I was in the store, I would notice him out of the corner of my eye, watching me, no matter what area I was in. One time, I even called him following me out to my car. At that point, I was too scared, and I decided to say something to the managers. After letting them know what was going on, they assured me that they would tell me... He like his uncle or something. He like his uncle. Me. After that, he wouldn't speak to me, but I would continue to see him following me around the store at a distance every time that I went up there. It got so bad, and I felt so frightened that I started to be afraid to go to this store at all, but I am one of those stubborn people who refuses to be intimidated by someone to the point to where I'll stop doing something. It ain't dead. What would what, what y'all say it is? Cause I ain't gonna, you ain't gotta be intimidated to, to just feel unsafe. Like you ain't gotta be scared or none of that. You just put all right. And worst come to worst, this can happen. So if I just eliminate myself from it, this I ain't let I'm not less of a person, I'm not less of a man, woman, female, turtle, whatever yeah, I wanna be at the time. Uh that wasn't a shot, just whatever y'all want to be. Like, you can be this cup if you want to be this cup. You can be this lettuce, this cabbage, this Coca-Cola, steak, anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I kind of lost my thought. Name if I am, I am hungry. I ain't eating nothing today. I really, I really don't eat anyway. Big store, and maybe he just had things to do that just happened to be in the areas I was shopping in. So I started to pay close attention to my surroundings. She checking for ops. Once I started really paying attention, I realized that literally every single time I was up there, I would constantly notice him in the areas of the store I was in. During my last encounter with him, I went up to the store to grab just two or three items I needed for dinner that night. And I first saw him standing outside the store when I got there. And with his back to me, I quickly ran inside, hoping he didn't see me. Unfortunately, a few minutes later, I saw him at the very back of the store. And with items in hand, I immediately made a beeline towards the front. As soon as I got near the checkout, I ducked behind one of the shelf displays and watched carefully at the front of the store to see if he would appear, and he did. I watched as he looked up and down the checkout, and when he didn't see me there, I saw him step outside. At this point, I quickly ran him. to the nearest open cash. He definitely, he definitely watched him. And rang up my items and stuck my head out the door to look for him. I didn't see him there immediately, so he had, he had I started a trying to make my way back to where I was parked. I had parked a ways away near the side of the store where a bunch of other small stores and restaurants were lined up. And as I was walking towards That's my smart. car, I realized I saw him standing by the entrance that I had first entered the store through. And so I ducked behind a pillar immediately, hoping he didn't see me. I watched carefully from behind the pillar, and as he scanned the parking lot, he obviously couldn't find me. After a minute or two, he started to walk out towards the direction of the parking lot. So I took the opportunity to make a run for it to my car. As soon as he was far enough away that I felt safe, 
As soon as Rock I got into my car, I locked the doors, and to my horror, when I looked up, he was standing there about 15 feet from my car, the shopping cart in front of him. I knew he followed me, and he knew that I knew. I fully believe he had chased after me, and when I made it to my car, he grabbed the nearest car to make it look like he was collecting them from the parking lot. I remember just feeling absolutely terrified at that moment. I went home and immediately told my grandfather about what happened. No. I began Don't crying and shaking, time. and my grandpa told me to get in the car, and that we were going to settle this. He and I drove up. Get Yeah! Come on, come on, Grandpapa! <laughs> Show me some! to the store and demanded we spoke with the managers immediately. Both of them. When the managers arrived at customer service, he asked me to tell them about what had been happening. My grandpa demanded that they ensure he left me alone, or that he would involve the police. The managers swore up and down that they would take care of it. As far as I know, he wasn't fired immediately, because my friend who first encountered him with me when this whole thing began, told me that she would see him from time to time when she was there by herself, but that any time I went with her, she would never see him. I fully believe he knew whenever I was there, only this time instead of stalking me, he avoided me. Eventually, everyone who knew the situation stopped seeing him there, so I think he may have gotten fired or moved on from that store. Either way, I haven't he had any shoes since, but I've never in my life felt so afraid of another human being as I did that day, seeing him make eye contact with me in the parking lot as I locked my doors. It still creeps me out to think that he was watching me so closely every time I entered the store that he could so easily avoid or follow me whenever he wanted. Backwards, why he wasn't even looking. What's wrong, bro? Babysitter's Annalisa. Annalisa? She's pretty good. She's like my grandma. She Jeez. says, I like. Grandma is crazy. That's it for number. Let me close it out. That's it for number two ski. It for number two ski. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I'm gonna stop watching these and I might watch one more and then put like watch something else so I can just. Put it in between, in between, in between, in between. Things like that. Hope y'all understand. I think I might watch this one. I think she at school. Y'all can't see it. It's the end of the video, though. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thinking positive, bro. You will get through it. You will get through it. Or you will achieve what you're trying to achieve. Nah, for real, though. Go try this water. But I'm going to catch y'all the next one. Peace out.